Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Starbound. So, when we last left off, we were just getting back to grips with things, I suppose you might say, and... Yeah. We definitely want to avoid whatever the heck this is, seeing as it seems to be a very, very bad place. And instead... Actually, I almost wondered to myself if before going in here we should craft some armor. Ah, what the heck, how bad could it possibly be, right? I mean, this is, after all, just the first level. Famous, you know, oh god. Famous last words before di- ooh. Okay, so this whole thing is like a protected mission area. Gotcha. Music. I like it. Oh my, there's like a whole civilization down here. That's interesting. Or at least someone was, uh, someone was setting up camp down here. Such happy, joyous, and triumphant music. What do you got here? This place is long abandoned, it would seem. At one point, this world had a promising outlook. I wonder what happened. I don't think I've quite figured out exactly what voice I'm doing with that guy, since I keep ever so slightly changing. I'll be honest with you, though. I mean, he says uh, it once had a promising outlook. It kind of feels like it still does, you know? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Just uh, take a second to catch your breath. All right. Nope. There was a time when I was, like, good at this game. I bet I could become good at it again. Also, this this feels like it's an obvious secret door, doesn't it? I mean, maybe it's just the way the uh, the pieces are set here. But it feels like there's, like, obviously a secret door there. And I have a... Desire. Oh my. What the hell happened to... What the hell happened to that, uh... That pop-top? Oh god, why do I... Why do I feel like I'm so heavy? That's not right. Um, rope. Rope is a basic feature that I can make, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do, 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 do. God, this music is so happy. It's so joyous. I almost can't stand it. Just too, uh... Ah, hell. Alright, that'll... Maybe do... There we go. That was... Totally worth it. Ooh, ooh. Do, 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 Almost killed myself with that fall for no reason. That's cool. I'm intrigued by the uh, changes to the story that um, Kraken Universe has now. I mean, I'm also rather just impressed overall with uh, like the missions here. Because the only big mission area before, as I recall, was Ow was the, um, whole, like, Call of Cthulhu thing. In order to get further, you're gonna need to find a way to make yourself smaller. See if you can find some sort of hidden passage, maybe. Oh boy, I love hidden passages. I don't know. I feel like giving him a slightly... Because he, he's kind of... He's like an adorable stuffed animal thing. I, I feel like that... It's, like, fitting that he has a, uh... Like a, a ever so slightly silly voice. Might just be me. These are like definitely like sick pop tops or something because their voices, their song is like all messed up. They're rabid is what they are. So we should probably, like, so killing them is totally justified. We're, you know, because rabies sucks. And, I mean, the crazy thing about rabies is it's like easy to treat. Well, easy being a relative term, but I mean like all you need is to get vaccinated against it and you know then you're pretty much safe basically yet there's some people out there I mean don't even you know what? I'm not even gonna get started on the whole like anti-vax nonsense no no it's crazy I mean like just in general like anti-science or anti-intellectual type people it's just just baffles me sometimes like how we can live in one of the most enlightened periods of humanity 
you know, where you can literally go online and find the sum total of human knowledge in one place. All at the palm of your hand. And yet there's some people who insist that, uh, you know, ye ancient knowledge is better. Unless you're exceptionally nimble, you're gonna need a climbing rope to get up there. Try finding some or make some yourself from the crafting menu. Anyway, yeah. Also, not to, uh, like, I don't want to offend anyone who may happen to, like, believe in, um... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Undiscovered runes of the ancients! Go! Explore! I mean, I'd totally love to, but I, I can't open this door. Oh, try opening with explosives. Don't mind if I do. Yep, oh god. Hmm, door appears well sealed. Perhaps some explosive force might open it. Okay. There we go. That's the good stuff. That is cool. I like that. Like, that's such a unique little, uh, feature, in my opinion, to be able to, like, have that as a thing. Ooh, what's this? Aha! Quest complete. Dodge. The strange artifact washes some sort of energy over you when you step near. You feel stronger. Excuse me. You can now double tap left or right to activate a short dodge. Oh, man. So it's like Metroid now. Wow! Functioning tech of the ancients! You need to check that out! Please? For science? Oh, duh, it's a tutorial -y thing. There we go. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, what was I going on about before getting distracted? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you happen to believe in, like, you know, alternative medicine or something, I don't mean to, like, insult your intelligence or anything, I'm just saying. Like, belief in stuff is fine, even if it's, like, unconventional stuff. But, like, don't believe in it at the expense of, like, you know, actual proven, tested, and verified stuff. Because that's just silly. And you could get yourself killed. Or others. A wonderful grotto! This water looks to be quite refreshing. A swim might be just what you need. But look out for predators beneath the surface. That is true. Always watch out for predators. Oh my, that's a big fish. Well, let's give him the old, uh, pokety poke here. God, I love this. Honestly, I mean, at, at this point, I almost have to say, like, it'd be kind of amazing just to see if uh, the creators of Fracking Universe created their own, like, just a full-on game. I mean, obviously making a full-on game is a little bit harder than, you know, just modding an existing game, because then you have to, like, put in all your own work and stuff and, like, create the systems, but I mean, like, honestly. The switch appears to be a time trigger. You may need a means to increase your speed if you were to pass here. Perhaps check for some sort of technology to help elsewhere in this cavern. But yeah, basically, I, I'm really impressed with, uh, oh my, with this whole mod. And just it's like general, it's general like the, the theme, the feel, the story, all that good stuff. And I just think to myself, like, imagine if, uh, this was, uh, like a, a fully... Oh, yeah, I probably gotta do some dash tech stuff. There we go, that's the good stuff. Anyway, but yeah, like, if, like, if this was its own game entirely and it didn't have to, I guess, like, rely on, like, building off of the existing Starbound stuff, it'd be kind of interesting. Like, I would, I'd play a game like this if it was all by itself. The strange new technology is fused into my body seems to have increased my jumping ability. So, double jump, or just regular jump, maybe, possibly. This door appears to have two separate inputs. If these symbols are any indication, there are undoubtedly consoles in the area to activate it. Actually, I think I might just be having, like, a regular, a regular jump here. Aha! More explosive goodness. But yeah. God, I love this. Anyway, yeah, it's all good stuff. There we go. God, I wish this dash was a little, just a little bit, like it went a little farther, fervor. Aha, Morph Sphere, or Morph Ball, whatever. I've discovered an unusual technology that allows me to turn into a ball. With it, I can access areas I otherwise couldn't. Has it really only been nine minutes, 10 minutes-ish into this video? I feel like we've been, I feel like, I, I should be looking down and seeing like I've actually been playing like a hundred hours or something like that. 
So yeah, the time basically is uh, for this whole thing is decent. Decent and balanced and good. All right, so we've got all our super cool powers and I guess when we get to the uh, the outpost eventually, I, I know I, I could have taken that shortcut there, but you're not the boss of me. I, I like swimming water as long as I can. Actually, is this even healing water? It is. I'm also just soaking wet. All right, so we've got all our cool abilities and stuff. We've unlocked the various modulator door thingies, which is also good. All right, but before we uh, head down there, I want to just quickly loop back and make sure I haven't missed anything that may now be open now that we've spent a little bit of time exploring. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I, I just, I like this. The whole feel of this plate is, is pretty cool. Okay, yeah, there is uh, nothing new. All right, let's just uh, keep on moving forward then, shall we? At least there's, what is that? Do I get some kind of shield when I'm dashing? I mean, I, I think I've always had invincibility frames, but uh, kind of a, a new, exciting feeling. Oh god. What's this? I can hear subtle hints of guttural sounds over your frequency. Keep an eye out for predators. Oh god, I'm getting murdered by bats here. Back off! Back off, you! You nasties. Come on. Back it up. There we go. My goodness. I am hearing pop tops again. Good old pop tops. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything exciting. There's no way I could fit up there, is there? I feel like no, that's that's a one by yeah. I'd have to be even smaller than what the distortion sphere actually allows in order to get into that. Alright. God, this is just such such nice music. It's all upbeat and joyous, as I keep saying every five seconds. Or so. Every five seconds or so. It would appear, based on life signs, that you have stumbled onto some sort of nest. Be aware, one large mutant has been detected. The energy source we seek is also nearby. Alright, Mama Pop Top, who's actually, like, being treated as a boss. Also, speaking of, uh... Alright. Oh god, there's several, uh, several Mamas. Or actually, wait a minute. These are big pop tops, but we're not losing, uh, like, mama health here. Oh god. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me, bro. I'm just fighting. I'm only killing you because I have to. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm only killing you because it's, uh, in my interests. You know, I forget. Can music change partway through a mission? Mo and I only say that because it seems as as awesome as this music is, and as much as I enjoy listening to it, it does seem a little uh, out of place for a boss battle. Oh god, it's so dark in here. This is why I, I don't particularly care for like the complete removal of like the little light source that um, you know we normally normally have. I mean, it's- I can see some of the uses of it also. We can see there's some, like, ancient stuff here. Oh god, can I get back out? Now yeah, I'm gonna have to grapple my way out. To be honest, I have no idea what I just did there. This kinda happened. I mean, I suppose if I just threw some flares that might, uh... Oh, here we go. No going back now. God, it's so dark. Hello there, Pop Top Man. So you are also not the mama. We're just a big one. A great biggin. Ooh. Okay. Okay, you're even bigger than the big Pop Tops. And you even have some uh, unique uh, attack patterns, it would seem. I wonder if I could just ignore you. Uh, there we go. Ooh, a light. Or... Yeah, that. Which is not actually a light, but it is a thing. 
fact, there's a couple of things. Yeah, but yeah. There we go. What do we got here? Salvage fruster nozzle. Ooh, fruster nozzles. That's uh. Oh dear. Oh, is it summoning little baby pop tops? All right. Actually, let's see if we can cheese this a little. Can I just hide up here and cheese you, Mama Pop Top? The answer is kind of, but not really. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Are you eating your babies to heal yourself? Because if if that's actually a thing, and I'm not just like making stuff up, that's a little gross. I mean, what kind of mother eats her own young? Well, actually, there's several types of creatures out there in the world that do, in fact, do that very thing. You follow me up the stairs, I wonder. Ow. Yeah, yeah, it is, in fact, eating its babies in order to heal up. That is pretty gross. What kind of monster, what kind of monster does that? Of course, then again, I guess, uh, when you think about it, it's for the benefit of the, of the, uh, of future generations. You know, on account of, uh, you know, you eat some of your babies now, so you don't have to eat more babies later. Wait, you're still healing even though there's no babies left. That's, that's cheating, man. You're like, you're like breaking the rules of the game. It's kind of interesting that you don't actually have to fight the mama pop top. Or at least, well, that's not necessarily true. Maybe it drops the item we need, so we might actually have to kill it. And so we will. Whether we actually do need to fight it or not. There we go. Ooh, what's all this? Aha! Blood! The Take a Dip Collection. There's lots of collections, apparently. Let's have a look at some of them now. Actually, that's not... Nope, that's not it. Where... Wait, where are my collections? Something's broken here. Pretty sure it's supposed to be in this. But I am not seeing it. Hmm. It's probably a custom collection uh, thing. Yeah, because I've got custom collections, but I've also got... Oh, what's this? If you've picked up this message, you must be near an ancient gateway. Please activate it to come and find me. You can power up the gate with Corfrag. Ooh. Ooh, and a saxophone. Saxophones are always fun. Let's uh, play some right now, shall we? Let's see here. Uh, what shall we play? Aha. Actually, no. Obviously. Oh. Dang gummit. <laughs> you know what? We'll play that later. For now, though. For now, though, I guess, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Secrets over here. Gotta get those... Ooh, and there's a... A high-pitched microphone. So we can make some more annoying warbling. I like it. Alright. Wow, I... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, off-camera I went down to the core to get some core fragments since I figured we'd need them. I know of a place where people broaden their knowledge and create the most amazing devices. With advanced science! I've sent the location coordinates to your sale. Excellent. V has transmitted a star chart. oh wait. Thanks for investigating that for me. Your help is deeply appreciated. As a Fangs, take these coordinates for your sale. I run the facility there and I think you'll like it. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, oh, more stuff. Some of the finest scientific minds in the universe visit there often, and there is a great deal you could learn. Find the science outpost on your sail. Anyway, yes. V has transmitted a star chart location relatively nearby that boasts of amazing scientific knowledge. I've marked the location in my charts and can access it via my ship's sail. All right, off to the outpost. Alrighty then, and here we are. You know, every time I always think to myself, you know, I would love to see that, or love to take that dog with us. Ooh, look at all the little pets. Robo dog, slime snake, cool stuff indeed. Oh yes, and the holocra holographic, uh, blah, blah, blah. holographic ruler. We're gonna need to grab ourselves that at some point. We've got our quest console chip, infinity vending machine, our easel. He's a cabinet, all kinds of good stuff. Lots of mods going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... 
I thought I had the, or I thought I had installed the patch that kind of fixed the, um, like, Fracken Universe collections not working with custom collections. But apparently not. What do we got here? I mean, do I really even need, do I even really need to do anything with this guy, seeing as we do have, um, all the, uh, all the stuff, as it were. Like, since we've unlocked the tech already. Maybe that gives us something else, I'm not sure. What I do know is that we are going to make our way. Can't really do anything with him yet, by the looks of it. But yeah, we'll wrap this episode up as usual by going to see Esfer and just saying hi and... Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... Uh, let's see here. The outpost. Let's edit this. It'll be 01. Science outpost. And... Oh, and I can't edit that right now. Yeah. I just like adding numbers to them so that they are, like, the most important places are ordered more or less. And of course, we've got all our friendos here, seeing as this is the same universe as our old Elephian Alliance uh, playthrough. All right. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last, after the, the terrible destruction of Earth. It's sadly inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Esfer Bright, retired Grand Protector, who also stole the Master Manipulator because I am selfish that way. I left some years ago, an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. And not having all the vast resources of the protectorate at hand really, you know, was the smart play. Anyway, long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for aeons. But this tranquility proved finite. A being arose, one of hate and destruction. It was the Ruin! The Ruin could not abide life in any form, and reaped destruction upon the universe. It fought to blot out all life, and would have succeeded, but for the sacrifice of the Cultivator. The Cultivator rose against the Ruin, and succeeded in sealing it away. But in doing so, the Cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the Cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the Ruin. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, reach the Ruin, and truly destroy it. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of the Earth. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's, that's that. All right, no, no, I don't want to teleport to the ruin. Not yet. First of all, we of course want to do this, and of course we got to do this. We got to get our ship up and running, which I suppose is probably the first and most important thing of all, naturally. I, I don't think we're going to focus too much on doing like the vanilla quests, like we'll do them, but we're probably going to try to put most of our emphasis on exploring all the Fracken universe and Alephian Alliance and um, well, I guess we have to do the story stuff in order to get to the extended story stuff, and ba basically, yeah, just all the, the side stories and mod content. Ooh, an Arceus shard. Yes, right. We gotta go. I mean, I guess we have to do the Arceus mission next episode, but other than that, other than that, I suppose it's all mod stuff from there on out. Anyway, yes, so that looks like it's gonna be about it for this episode, so as always, Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below and I will see all you in the next video.